This week, it's time for some nightmare fuel. No, no, oh god, not that, no, get that off the screen. Never, never again. This nightmare fuel. The kind that won't go away. And for that, we're talking about Poppy Playtime. So, my friend actually suggested that I do something with this game, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Then he told me it's super popular, and all kinds of streamers are playing it, and PewDiePie just did a video. Okay, get out! You have my attention! And I'm like, PewDiePie, huh? And then with my best Technoblade impression, it was time for some clout <laughs> No, seriously. I played the game, and it's legit scary. Real nightmare fuel stuff. So I started looking at what I thought was the best part of the game, which is this character Huggy Wuggy. This adorable little bastard. Yeah, he turns into that. So, after living with those images in my head for a few days, I decided I wanted to do this video along the lines of a Benny Productions realistified video, only with a twist. You see, he takes kids' drawings and he photoshops them to look like real versions of the drawing, using photoreal textures that are generally very good for the PCs doing. The twist with mine is that I'm not going to use good textures for my edit. I'm only using meme trash. And I'm calling it realistic fied and that's a totally original idea all right here we go let's uh start off strong um let's see we've got a picture of a hemorrhoid pillow it's a good texture everybody likes those we've got the face of an ewok that's gonna be helpful um let's see oh we have the Woman with the world's largest mouth. That's, there's solid gold there we can get for our image here. Let's see, what do we have next? We have a, a Roomba with eyeballs. That's good. Um, I, solid, solid textures there. And lastly, we have, okay, that's a, that's a penguin's mouth. Cool. I wish I hadn't seen that. All right. Uh, yeah, I can, I can totally make something professional with this. Let's, let's go. Okay, jumping into the edit here. First thing we need to do is isolate out our Ewok face. I, I think that's going to be great for all of our fur textures. It's the only thing I have here with fur, so it's going to, it's going to have to work. Um, uh, once I get some of this cut out, I think I can do his arms and legs all from the same piece. Just kind of warp it around, move it get some of my uh, bigger fur stuff here trying to stay true to this drawing because uh, that's what it's all about is recreating our, our reference image that's it's paramount in terms of integrity for something like this um, now we gotta we gotta make some bigger fur pieces just to kind of directionality is big for these and then uh, uh, we're just gonna spend a while on fur aren't we I got these grass brushes, which I think will be good for adding in some of the directionality we need. It's a, these are super professional edit terms here. Um, things like directionality and movement, movement flow. Oh god, movement flow. Um, I once I once heard a graffiti artist talk about movement flow and just thought they didn't understand what they were actually saying. Um, uh, moving on, let's see. We've got we've got a horrible face here. Um, the face is actually really disturbing with no facial features on it from that Ewok. Um, I'm surprised how well it fits with some pretty minimal uh, warping. And then flip that upside down, and you get a you get a nice little tummy. Um, then we just we shift the color. And, ah, <laughs> I surprised myself with that picture. Um, yeah, we're gonna try everything we can to warp her mouth to fit our character's disturbing mouth here. So that's gonna be a, a lot of very kind of advanced, advanced warping. Really just move it until it works, hopefully. Uh, next, we've got we got some more warping, 
and then we're gonna try to come in here and start getting this penguin mouth it's already its own thing of nightmares uh, we'll get that to uh, blend in do some shading in it and then we'll start putting in the teeth from there got to cut some of these out and fit them all around the mouth so that they look natural natural I think is a good word for this uh, yeah so it's just gonna be a bunch of work on these teeth and we'll make that look as just nightmarish as possible and uh, moving on start to do some shadows once we get all of our elements in I think it's a good thing to go around and do some shading get everything to look like it belongs on the face and that it's not just horribly copy and pasted together got some nice highlights those eye highlights are actually pretty decent hey that's pretty uh, good shadows all around the fur we do that just by throwing some stuff in there and then cutting it back out with some grass brushes you know kind of standard everyday stuff final thing to do is get our hemorrhoid pillow come in here get our nice felt textures for the hands and feet I think we'll throw some shading in there and then we'll probably be just about done with this uh, it'll be time to move on to background backgrounds always good for these that's where you start to see everything get kind of finished up and where I can stop kind of hating myself trying to make something that I have no business making I have crippling um, depression so yeah yeah background um, that I'm not I'm not depressed you're depressed uh, here we go we got the title doing this kind of slasher way then some blood splatter everywhere because huggy wuggy is a terrifying creature and we throw in some shadows a little bit of highlights and then we move on to the carry me filter uh, and then once that's done we're pretty much good to go another finished piece Hope you like the results. We'll get to that here in a second. Nightmares are made out of Mr. Huggy Wuggy. I got this time. I'll try harder next time, I guess. Subscribe. <laughs> 